Right now at six, some questions answered and more remain after four teens are shot in Elizabeth City. It's the talk of the neighborhood where it happened. Tonight, new details on how everything ended with gunfire. Good evening and thank you for joining us. We begin a busy night of news with Elizabeth City Police looking into this disturbing act of violence. Four teens shot and police are still piecing together everything that happened. The scene, Walker Avenue in the city. The victims range in age from 15 to 19. Now, police are asking for the public to come forward with information. We start off tonight with 10 on your side's Raven Payne in Elizabeth City. A 15, 16, 17, and 19 year old are still in the hospital after being shot at Walker's Landing Apartments Wednesday night here in Elizabeth City. Today, police walked us through a few more details on what happened last night just after 7. Police say they found the 14 suffering from gunshot wounds near building 1200. Interim Police Chief Philip Webster says the rising gun violence is unsettling. Increasing use of firearms in our city and nation is a disturbing trend. It appears that the use of firearms and addressing disputes between individuals is becoming ever more prevalent. Police wouldn't talk about their injuries. However, we do know three of the four were flown to this Interra Norfolk hospital, indicating a pretty serious condition. Chief Webster was at Albemarle Hospital with the young victims before they were transported. Y'all, I got to say that I was there last night in that ER and looking at those young men, gunshot victims, is very heartbreaking. Um, it just, it just really, uh, there's no other word for it, it's heartbreaking. Neighbors say this isn't surprising for their neighborhood. One woman even looking to move away from the crime. Yep, I need to get out, of, I want to get out of here too. City Manager Montre de Freeman says now is the time for the community to heal with the help of the Police Athletic League. What happens when you have idle hands? And we've heard the saying of what idle hands create. And so what we want to do is remove idle hands and create positive hands. Police say this is an ongoing investigation, but emphasize there is no threat to the public. In Elizabeth City, Raven Payne, 10 on your side. And we will continue to follow this story and post any updates as we get them on wavy.com.